No need to be humble. Just the other day, I watched you fell a massive monster with my own two eyes. I've never seen the like. Pray, sir, teach me to fight like you do. I'm after an instructor, see, but the ones in this city are cravens all. The sort that decided to teach to avoid the battlefield. If I'm to grow stronger, I need to learn from someone who's seen actual battle. A real warrior, such as yourself. Won't you give me a chance? And this Baron fellow, he's a real warrior. I suppose you wouldn't recommend him if he wasn't. And after all, I've seen your prowess. I'm inclined to trust your judgment. Many thanks, sir. Methinks I'll seek out this Baron and see what he can teach me. This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Oi there, friend. Care to help a fellow out? All I ask is that you hear my request. What have you got to lose? My thanks, sir. As to the matter at hand, it concerns my ox cart business. I've been holding off service on account of all the monsters on the road, but now I feel prepared to start making trips to Melv again. Only trouble is, there are still monsters about, and I can't help but worry for the safety of the carts. That's where you come in. See, I've got a letter here from Lady Margit, the watchhead's wife, to be delivered to one Sir Leonard in Melv. I'd like you to accompany the cart in my stead and see to it that the letter reaches its recipient. What say you, friend? Splendid! Now, the carts only depart at certain hour. And mind you, don't forget to pay your way before you board. That standard pr Each cart travels with an escort of trained soldiers, see? So anyone thinking of riding for free will have to take the issue up with that. But enough of my lecturing. Just make sure that... Oh, and I'll pay your fare this time. See, come find me when you've delivered that letter. I'll be waiting. Right, let's get this delivered. I'd sooner not battle those with whom we have this quarrel. They mean us harm. We can but defend ourselves. While in another world, I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by. The hat inside will show you the way. You're soaked. Do try not to catch cold. Arisen, have you been harmed? No one can defend themselves from something like this. Tell 
Fails to destroy us only oh, forgive me for being a burden arisen. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. No harm in picking a few. Healing the arisen. From provisions to crafting materials for weapons and armor. We've had a hard time procuring goods, what with all the monsters lurking on the roads alone. I sent Marcus to gather what we need, but I've just taken stock, and I fear the list I gave him was incomplete. What say you? Could I trouble you to run an errand for me? <laughs> You'll be paid, of course. Glad to hear it. Here, take this list of additional supplies to Marcus. He ought to be somewhere north of here. Hand him the note, and he'll take care of the rest. I've you to thank for that new recruit, I. The lad's well eager, he is. He fears naught, and he follows my commands with nary a word of complaint. Soldiers like him boost the morale of all around them. His presence bodes well, and I've you to thank for it. There's just one problem. Seeing a lad so spirited, so foolhardy, makes me recall a time when I was much the same. Sets my blood to boiling, you see. Makes me yearn for a bout with a skilled combatant. Need I explain further? I test my steel against yours, friend. What say you? Care to spar with me a bit? Glad to hear it. Follow me, then. Think of it like a game. Whoever steps out first, loses. Simple enough, eh? Seeing as you're no warrior, you do well to strike when I'm off balance. Let's begin. Fight well! That was well fought. You're even stronger than I'd anticipated. I dare say I needed that. Youth my thanks. I've ne'er met anyone like you. 
You've done more for me this past while than anyone I've known as air trouble to. A commendable sort you are. Would that I had some way to repay you for all the good you've done me. Sir Baron, you must come, and quickly! A goblin pack has descended over by the rope bridge. We're in need of your aid! My thanks for the report. I'll go at once. Goblins can be dastardly. We'll have need of capable fighters. The more, the better. I'd fain have you up my side, friend, if you'd be willing to join the fray. Quick! Out here! Watch my back! If I might be so bold as to speak my mind, the private quarters of one arisen I served had many a visitor. Look, Master! Goblins! We have no means of exploiting our enemies. And here I was, hoping for some great treasure. Now I feel a fool. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Are you fit to travel? to be called to your side, Arisen. What was that? Randall! What happened? Speak to me, lad! Sir. We managed to fell the goblins, but then a cyclops charged us out of nowhere, wounded and enraged. We stuck the beast with arrows till one of them pierced its eye. It fled, but I've no doubt to a return. Now mind that, lad. You survived, and that's what counts. Let's get you back to the encampment, oi? Right? It would seem my days of peace are at an end. Do you recall the soldier we met on the road? He was rather badly injured in the goblin melee. They'll want me to take responsibility for that, I just know it. Shan't be long before I'm forced to resign from my post. I doubt such a thing would be asked of any human instructor. But I'm beastern, aren't I? There's no fighting it. But I'll be damned if I let the troops suffer on my account. In the time that remains to me, I'll get them trained up as best I can. Vermin's treatment of beastrons? is lamentable. This shan't go down well.
We're to see this letter to Sir Leonard in Melv. Shall we board the ox cart as directed, Master? If you would be so kind as to follow me, 